This video is best viewed in full screen mode and on YouTube that's this icon right here. And if you have a high bandwidth connection it's best viewed in HD which can be selected by clicking on this icon here and selecting 720p. If you're watching this video it's probably because you have clicked on the help link uh, that is associated with this message box here and what it means is that you've tried to edit a list this could come up if you're editing the court list judgment type list uh, any kind of list that you're editing the action list and what this is telling you is that there's another user that is logged into the database that is at the, this particular moment also editing this same list and uh, you can't have two people editing the list at the, uh, the same list at the same time because Basically what happens is the last person to, who saves wins and the person who was making, the other person making changes is going to lose all their changes. So this is just to make sure that only one person at a time goes in and edits a list. Now if you notice here it says it's locked by and when you see this here this is the person's name, their login name on the PC and this here is the name of the PC. So you know who it is that's uh, editing this and um, if you go over there and say, hey, are you done yet? Or maybe they started to uh, edit it and uh, went to get some coffee or whatever the situation is. But this way you know uh, who it is. Now, um, the way this the system works is that whenever someone comes in and edits a list, it goes out and it writes a small file to the hard drive uh, to let all the other users in the system know that that list is being edited by somebody. It is possible if someone was in there editing this list and their PC crashed or the program crashed that that file would still be out there and everybody would see this um, list as being uh, edited by somebody even though they're currently not editing it. Uh, the first and best solution to that situation is uh, have this person uh, here open up their version of the judgment management system and then close it and what that'll do is that'll uh, reset all those files and uh, get everything back in order. Um, as a last resort which is something you should uh, refrain from doing unless you absolutely have to but you can uh, click on this button here that says clear locks and uh, brings you up this very scary looking message um, because if you uh, click on this, it's going to clear out all the locks that anybody has in the system. Uh, so if there's another user that's editing a list, it's going to clear out their file. It's going to basically clear out all the locks in the system. And that's really something that you do not want to do uh, unless it's some sort of last resort. And if you do feel the need to do this, you really want to get everybody else out of the judgment management system and, and then push this button, and that will reset everything. Um, so I want to hit and hit cancel on that. And uh, so that's what this message is all about. Uh, it's just basically to make sure that two people aren't trying to edit the same list at the same time.